Hi friends, Quill here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Fridays, where each Friday we take on a new chapter of Fire Emblem Three Houses. This season is the Black Eagles route. If you're enjoying the series as much as I am, make sure you hit that like button down below, click subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of the action. If you saw last time, we took on the Death Knight and finally beat him, as well as foiled an attempt to steal the Relic Sword. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it right now. We'll find out. Uh, that can only be wielded by Quill. Uh, let's see. I, yeah, it doesn't say here. Oh well. Uh, but I wanted to do a real quick team recap really fast before we go on into this. Oh yes, and uh, this episode we're going to be taking on uh, a rebellious leader of the House Gautier, who is Sylvain's older brother, in fact, uh, who does not have a, a crest like some of our people do, like Ferdinand, not Ferdinand, like uh, Sylvain does, and so his family uh, kind of excommunicated him, and now he's, he's salty, so he's trying to steal the uh, ancient relics like Quill's sword. So yes, Quill is a thief. I'm trying to get that steel ability. I mean, I guess I already have the steel ability. I'm trying to get it permanently. Uh, Edelgard is an armor knight still going for that armor blow. Hubert is a dark mage going for poison strike, which can be very useful in a ranged unit. Uh, Ferdinand is a fighter. Linhart, a monk. Casper is a brigand going for a death blow. That's what that's called. Uh, Bernadetta's a cavalier. We're headed for, um, mainly for the, for the riding ranks, but you know, nothing else will hurt. Dorothea's a mage. Uh, Petra, mercenary. Felix is the one we're bringing along from the, uh, Blue Lions because we would like to recruit him this coming month. But without further ado, my friends, I think we're just going to go ahead and get into this. Yep, at the Gautier Inheritance. And we're going to go and watch this movie as soon as we save really fast. And as soon as this loads, it sometimes takes a while. So, oh, it's not taking a while today. All right, I'll see you in a bit. This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Miklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that crests should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution. See, that's something that I like about this, is the, the, the moral gray. You know, there's, there's some ambiguity in whether or not we're the good guys so far yet, because we're taking down these people who... Our family members of our students uh, for reasons that maybe we don't quite understand I mean Rhea is very big on don't turn your blade against the church or you will regret it so we'll see where that moral ambiguity leads us but for now uh, let's make sure everyone has some weapons that they need okay it's called the sword of the creator I, I it's his relic sword I yeah, everyone's got their got their weapons. We're gonna go ahead and save, and then we're gonna let's look at the map really fast. We want who do we want up front? Let's move Petra closer to the front, um, and then we'll switch Casper up there. All right, why don't we move? Yeah. Oh, I love Hubert and the Dark Mage. Higher. Um, Ferdinand should go up there ahead of Linhart. 
And Edelgard, Edelgard really needs to be closer to the front, doesn't she? We're gonna put Edelgard... Eh. Edelgard can kind of lag behind because she's way, 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 way ahead in levels right now. Uh, Bernadette is fine where she is. Other than that, let's go ahead and we'll save once more. Just so we don't lose our preparations. And then we're gonna fight. Alright, awesome. Let's do this. I'm excited. I'm, I don't get to play this game very much because the I'm recording it. Close by. We're almost to the top floor. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. All we have to do is chase them down. I just saw a meme that was like, uh, Fire Emblem players be like, uh, or it was, it was a video on YouTube, and it was, it was, uh, how Fire Emblem players react to, uh, mission objectives. And so, like, this mission objective is to take out this guy, um, McClan, McClan, who's using the, the Lance of Ruin, that sounds legit. Uh, but it's just Dimitri saying, kill all of them. Which is kind of accurate. All right, we're gonna turn on. Put me in there. Casper can take a few hits, so he'll be good. And he got the Iron Gauntlets. Pl mm, not upset about that. Oh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and send the training axe. He doesn't really need that. All right, Bernie can come up close. Petra, I, I want close-ish, but not quite in the front lines. I will prevail. Edelgard can come up closer like that. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Stay focused. I like how the the, the characters That's echo. That's my cue. Is this Fire Emblem Echoes? Because it sounds you like wish. it. It's just the realism, I suppose. Battle. Last episode, I kind of cut out some of the gameplay because it got a little bit long, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, Here we go. Ooh, that's cool. What a jump! Would that be something that you guys would prefer, like that I cut out moving uh, uh, units and stuff like that, or would you prefer I keep that stuff in? I, I think it's a little bit different. With like the the, the Nuzlocke. Silver's can move up. Uh, sort of. The, the whole gameplay, or if you just want to see like One the more battles. Second. Oh. There come reinforcements. Enemy. Here we go. Uh -oh. oh wow. Yeah. Did a lot of damage there. I'm kinda of, kinda of happy with that. Let's take him out with the iron though. Oh, I forgot Felix. I should have brought Felix with me. As expected. But we level up, so that's nice. Another step forward. It's not a very good level up, but we did it. I still have not Okay. We'll send Chesky to the convoy because we do not need it. Uh Petra, do you want to take out that girl or do you want to Ferdinand can? Yeah. We should use different axes. Yeah! I love how all the of them are of wearing ability. caps and gowns as if they're graduating. It's just you've got Thoron equipped. You can use Thoron, in fact. I'm gonna go and do that. Okay. Not bad. I'm not upset about it. I just hope that she doesn't get like totally destroyed by the Okay, Dorothea. Nice. Okay, that's nice damage. Alright, and you've got a little bit of authority. I mean we'll, we're we're gonna get attacked by them, but I really like Thoron's animation, it's really great. I've got many skills, you know. Level 11! Okay, a good level up. A I good can. level up. We're excited about that. At least I am. I don't know who you guys are. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and heal you. Because we can. Thanks so much. Alright. And we're gonna advance. Bernadetta, jeez. Okay, so they're all moving forward. Are they gonna try to escape someplace? Okay. Dorothy can do this. I have faith in her. I <laughs> get it, because that's her hidden talent. Faith. <laughs> it's funny, I promise. Wait, face. Oh, they're up there now. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. See, I thought there weren't. It's an ambush. 
I thought there weren't a lot of enemies. I wonder where the rest of them were. Okay. So we've got this magic dude up here, and he's a problem. Because magic dudes are good in this game. Ah! Child! Huh? You're soft. Okay, nice. We can go ahead and come up here with Hubert. Probably do a lot of damage here, yeah. Uh, Bernadette can come down. No, I don't want to do that quite. We're gonna let Casper get this kill. Awesome. Alright, but the training us to take this guy out, and then you don't get hit back. Because Bernadette is not, not, not having a lot of fun right now. Witness Bridget Pride. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, I hope they hit. Okay, good. Can I go now? Awesome. Alright. Jeez, they're coming in droves. Okay, this is, this is not scary at all. It's a little bit scary. Banshee. Banshee just straight up takes that guy out. Uh, we're just gonna go for it. I love that animation. I know I keep saying that I love that animation, but it's just so true. Lady let's, let's have you weaken this guy with an iron bow. Not bad. Oh, so close to level 12. So close. Move her down there a little bit. Ferdinand can come up here and kill this dude. Let's use the iron axe. You should be on. Oh, level twelve. Nice for me. Okay. Always getting stronger. That resistance buff is really good because resistance is hard to come by in this game. Yeah, we're gonna go let Yogard take this kill. <laughs> Just because Casper can then go bait out the other people. Nice. Not an and level 12. Luck defensive. It's, eh, it's okay. On to enemy phase. You're doing nothing. <laughs> we can go ahead and take this guy out with the steel bow. Nice. We're gonna go for Banshee. Just because I like to watch the animation go off. Yeah. From that archer. Just beat him up. With a crit, sure why not. What's a damn scream? I love it. I really like Casper's character. Like they did a they did a good job. <clears throat> why did we get magic? Just getting started. We don't need magic, my friend over there. Petra's turning out to be a pretty good unit. Oh, that's cool. But they miss, so it's alright. Okay. It all comes down to this. What's with these? Oh, I don't like these battalions. I love the battalions. I think they're really interesting. And there goes Casper's movement. That's cute. It is not cute. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and let Bernadetta soften this guy out. Uh, with the iron bow. Sounds good. Oh! Oh, she's got the crest that lets me hit three times sometimes. Yeah, Ferdinand can come down here and attack. Awesome! Yeah, let's go do that. You can't move anyone. Yeah, but it, it means that, that anybody can be an archer, which means that even you're your. No one makes it past me. Archers, historically, are bad characters. They don't have good stats, they don't have good growths. Uh, but the difference in this game is that... Oh, okay. The difference in this game is that they are able to be any character, so you can make your best character an archer and go up kill it. And Petra just gets a critical hit, like always. One more I wonder if we can bait him out. Why don't we let Viola take care of these guys? Okay. Petra didn't dodge, but she didn't get hit very much either. And then move to enemy phase. Oh, we only hit once? 
probably because it's a thief. Okay. Iron Sword. Get back here. Each battle, a chance to grow. We're gonna go ahead and let you attack this guy. I mean... Nice job, Felix. Why am I even here? Because I want to recruit you. That's why you were here. Oh, awesome. Oh, jeez. Okay, so he got a critical hit. That's no fun. I'm getting closer. Model leader. I think that's that's a good one. I don't remember what it does exactly. But I'm just Blame surprised spirit that protect me. Edelgard lived a crit from like a mini boss. That's awesome. Okay. But we're gonna let you break at the kill. With hmm, Miasma? Miasma. Why not? He's got 20 of them. That's incredible. He can use so much magic. I'm shocked you made it easy. And we got an accuracy ring, which I don't think Hubert's gonna need, but uh, we'll be nice regardless. We're gonna give it to Casper. Boom. 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 Oh, only three hits. You see that? Ooh. He hits pretty hard. If nothing else. But he can only hit one square away. So we have no reason to not just kinda go for this hit. So you think you can take the lance from me, huh? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! Calm down, buddy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do we want to just go ahead and take this dude out? I mean, no one else really wants to experience this except for Lindhart, and there's no way I'm running on him to get up there, so yeah. Let's just go. Relax. Alright, there we go. The clan, it was, it's nice knowing you, buddy. <clears throat> Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. I feel like they're gonna make that my problem. Yeah, they're gonna make it my problem. That's great. Okay. Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. Okay. That was pretty dark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Their evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. Okay. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Mm. See, this is kind of scary. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more uh. quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go. And that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. The Black Beast. <laughs> if you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Okay. Without the power flowing around them, 
They will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful. See, I've heard that battalions are really useful against these Attack monsters. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Oh. Oh, so we could use that Be on with, your guard with, uh, when they have realized Edelgard. their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Okay, I'm a little Distract bit scared. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to <laughs> me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Okay, let's do it. Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering. Oh, wow. This is dark, I hope. That's terrifying. Child! Okay. That didn't do too much damage. What is going on here? Hello? Okay, Gilbert, you need to stop. My friend, you need to not. Uh, let's let's go and use a gambit here. Nice. I did a lot of damage. We won't hold back. A little bit scary. We've got two more little square dudes to figure out. You're gonna attack Edelgard regardless. Right? Yeah, okay. We're gonna use the Iron Bow Plus. Yeah, it's only gonna attack Edelgard. That's good. Nice. Oh wow. Okay, not bad. Oh, this is... Oh wait, is it gonna... Okay, it's still after Edelgard, that's good. Uh, we can go ahead and move Bernie up here. Ooh, that training boat does a lot of damage. Let's try to do it. Wow. Bernadette yeah. is doing a lot of damage. Not gonna lie about it. Oh, I missed it. I don't know what she leveled up. I'll have to go back and watch. Ooh. Let's let... This is his last life, right? Yeah, we're gonna let... Oh, let's take up. This might shake things up. I hope that it does. Wow. Okay, that's a really cool animation too. Come on, magic. Again with the strength, I don't get it. Oh, it has one more. Oh, that's very bad. Ooh, it's gonna hit for 26. And our defense is nine. Okay, we should be able to take it at least. Uh, I've changed my mind. We're going to go back. We're going to go back here and we're going to not have Linhart attack. We're just going to let him try to get a crit. Oh. Okay, good. I forgot that he can attack back. Whoops. <laughs> I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I will get the victory. Alright, moving forward. As you wish. I'm gonna go with the forward again. Okay, here we go. I don't know what that was, but it hurt. 
a lot. Oh, why you gotta go and take the kill? Okay. This puts us in an interesting predicament. I will prevail. Gambit doesn't do anything. Jeez, his last. Uh. We're gonna go ahead and Yikes, this is not good. Be mindful. Uh first things first, what what's the down about? Oh, we're lowering speed now, that's nice. It's not actually nice. We're gonna let Edelgard use her gambit once again. But only after everyone else Put me is attacked. In Alright. Your gambit does seven. You do more by yourself, you know? Uh, with your... No, we're not going to attack with that. We're going to let you attack... Yikes. We're going to let you attack with the Steel Gauntlets, because... That was a Missed. Good, good, good. He missed. This is kind of scary. I did not expect this. Okay. Oh, come on. Seven times two. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and kill this guy. Oh, geez. All right, Linhart, how much damage do you do anyway? I'd like to take it easy. You do not a lot, but you you do six, so that's nice to know at least. It's dangerous. Okay. Combat arts. Let's let's try this curved shot with the steel bow. Okay, not bad. Do a little bit of damage anyway. Nice. And our our skill leveled up. Our uh, yeah, that. All right, now you need to get out of the way. All right, Petra, why don't you come over here? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let you hit with the steel axe. Okay, and you dodge. Nice. This is going. This is going okay. It's not going swimmingly necessarily, but it's going okay. Meyer just straight up takes him out. Okay. We don't want you to do that because we don't land hard to get the kill. Ooh, battalion. We'll let Edelgard use her battalion first. That's not Edelgard. <laughs> okay. We don't want you to kill, necessarily. Let's bring Felix up around here. Oh, okay. Attack with that iron bow. Yeah. Because that'll, that'll soften him up for my heart to get the kill. And also, make Felix like, to, like us a little bit more. Alright, Linhart, come on, you can do this. Yeah, you can. This should be the last one, right? is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the Lance and depart at once. Okay, Petra was the MVP. Go Petra, as always. I feel like... <laughs> okay. That was dark. I, I really enjoyed this. I'm really liking this game. My 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's watch the that movies. Man. His form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The Goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the Tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? There's no need to lie, Professor. No one could have expected you to disobey the Archbishop. I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Yes, Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief, and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that? and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard, I question whether you revealed too much to the Professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the Sword of the Creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. <sighs> I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away. 
into the darkness. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. They keep throwing things at me that I'm not sure what they mean, and it's just concerning to me. I don't know quite what's going on, but I like it. It's, it's, it's dark and mysterious. Let's watch this. Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlan welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. I really like the culture in this game. I think it's it's really well fleshed out and and the whole bit with the crests, and I'm not sure what they mean yet. Uh, I have been spoiled a little bit, so I know a little bit of what we just saw. I know some of what was just revealed to us. I know what's behind it. Um, I'm not going to share that with you, don't worry. But, all right. Without further ado, my friends, I think we're just about... Oh, whose birthday is it? As I believe oh. you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister, Flane, has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flane is not the type of certain. person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. Shoot. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. I really there is don't no want way to she the, could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth. Recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. What's with it? You have Ellipses. my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul to recovering her. I don't get Professor, a good vibe from her. Your mission for this month is to I'm help find Flane. Flane's great. The knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. All right. Flame has gone missing? Most unsettling. It doesn't seem likely that she's simply gotten lost. I'll help in any way that I can. So, our mission this month is to find her? Well then, let us hurry and locate her before anyone else. I there hope Flame is okay. What would happen if... Just what would we do if... You can't think like that, Burn. Sedeth would have a heart attack if he heard you. I've That's heard true. that she has a crest, but I suppose for this moment that is irrelevant. No, it's not. If you mentioned we'll it, it's not. start by gathering information. Someone must have seen Flame recently. Right. If we work together, I'm certain we'll find her. Okay. I might have to turn some of that on. Um, I know that we mainly do battles here, but 
Uh, for that, I might just show... It's Petra's birthday. Let's host a tea party. That sounds like fun. Meet Leeds. You have my thanks for giving me your spare time. I have gratitude. I have gratitude. I love her. Love Petra. Delicious. Let's let's let's, let's talk to her. Yes. Uh. I'm not in agreement. Oh. Okay. What? Plans for the future. Plans for the future. Agreement. Awesome. And yes. then. First a strong battalion. I am in agreement. There we go. Good. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> nice tea time. I will be waiting happily for you to be inviting me again. <clears throat> Alright, should that raise does it raise our charisma? Yeah, it does. Okay. Ooh, that, that, uh, background music is intense. Uh, but at any rate, my friends, I think that does it for this video. So, as always, make sure you hit that like button down below. Uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, friends, see you next time.